Hey everyone, Adventuring Chibi here, and we're back with episode 14 of our Golden Sun Adventure. Now we have to go uh, with Feishi and help her find her little buddy. You are the warriors from the school. Are you strong warriors? Yes. I'm happy to see strong warriors. I hope you will go west. Going west alone is very dangerous. I must find someone to m take me west. Why don't, why don't you just ask? I, I'm I'm right here. I'm right here. Right here. She's staring at me, but she will not ask for me to escort you, young lady. Goodbye. Alright. I actually already recorded this part, but I just remember that my mic was muted. So I was just like talking and I was not getting recorded at all. So I had to, had to redo this part. I didn't go far, thankfully, but... We have to go north to find the uh, Marston Jitty. Yep. Somewhere here. There he is. Yep, now I beat him up like I did last time that you guys won't be able to see because, yeah. Because silly me forgot to uh, unmute her microphone. Funny because I did that last episode too. <laughs> Had to subtitle everything. There you go. And you are mine again. Corona. So yeah, north of Zian has a fire eating jitty, guys. Yep. In case no one know you. Yep. Up leads to nothing, so. Over here, and yay, she's back. Yeah, Silk Road. Boulders block the road. Oh, Nas. My vision, it came true. Hasu, Hasu. What? You can't climb over the rocks again? You, you can't, you can't climb over the rocks? It is no good. I cannot hear Hasu's voice. Just, just... Just climb over the rocks. Just climb. There's a treasure chest here, so again, we're gonna go get it. <laughs> God, having to replay everything sucks. So thankfully, I didn't get far. Uh, let's see. So you, you. No, stop! Stop it! Stop it! You. Thank you. Let's go get the treasure chest. Which has a power bread. <laughs> I remember that. And I'm gonna use it on Isaac to increase his max HP. Yeah, power bread, yay. Done. Let's go back to where we were. Go. To the town. Hello, town. I'm back. Alden. No. Power bread use. There you go. Yep. Is this your first time to visit Alton? We must look like a coastal town, huh? Yes. Nothing gets by you. Alton never even had a well in the old days. Water spewing monsters are what water lodged the village. Wait. You came to Alton at a bad time. You're terribly unlucky, huh? Mm, not really. And yes, as you can see, this village is flooded. Which... Obviously, is very bad. <laughs> it's almost like they're turning the air itself into water. Oh no, what I what will I do if all my merchandise is soaked? How can those creatures spit up so much water? It's almost like they're turning the air itself into water. No, I wanted to mine her. If uh, if my goods are wet, I'll have to dry them out before I can sell them. Yes, very sad. And yes, I'm gonna pause this episode right here because my food is ready. So I'll be back in like, what, five seconds for you guys? Be right back! And we're back! My tummy is full of foods, we're ready to talk to more people. How horrible, my house is totally coated in monster spit! <laughs> That's really gross. I'm glad I saved my very first love letter, but what about everything else? Love letter? You know, I'd probably say like my cell phone or my like... PSP or my 3DS or something. 
Or my computer, if possible, but... Not a love letter. I was after... Uh, it was after that eerie night when the gems fell from the sky. That was when the water spewing monsters appeared in the mine. Please save the helpless in Elton. Do I get a reward for saving the town? Because that would be very fun. Yep. Even the mine is submerged, no one can enter it. Even the toughest of miners can't do much in this water. Okay, anything in here? Nothing. 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 Okay, so I haven't seen it in a long time. There's a book titled Elton, the Mining Village. Elton mines are famous for their beautiful gems, according to the book. Will they give me beautiful gems if if I save the town? Yes, I would love that. Nothing. It's been a long time since I got a break from doing housework. I hate sitting around like this. I want to go home. Not many people come up to Silk Road and to Alton. You're an odd one, you are. Of course, you can't go west of the mountains without taking Silk Road. Is anything on the bed? Nope. Box. Nothing. Jar. Person. None of us can go home until the water subsides. Most of the village is still submerged. It will be a long time before Alton returns to its former glory. Nothing. Of course our house will be ruined now. I wish I could move away. Now I finally have an excuse to move to my favorite town. Tolby! Oh my god, it can go up. Oh, and there's a secret inside the bed. No matter what happens, I'll never abandon Elton. Leaving Elton for Tolby? Well, that's just crazy. Well, I think this lady here begs to differ. Because she wants to go to Tolby. Uh, I didn't talk to you. We got a little damp, but we're doing okay. We must count our blessings. Yes, of course. After all, a lot of good people have been hurt in this flooding. We'll come through this alright, but I'm afraid the village is done for. Ah, That's sad. I'd give anything for someone to return Alton to its former glory. You look pretty young, but if you are a true warrior, please help us. I will help you. I don't, uh, I know they don't look so tough, but being warriors and all, maybe they can help us. Yes, I can help you. Do you want weapons? Yes. I'll sell you anything you want once the waters have receded. What in the world did they do to, well, what in the world did we do to deserve this fate? Cri- Cripes? Is this how my weapon shop ends? As a sunken disaster? I came from Zian. I cook. I cook good food. Eat up. Sure. No, shut up. I became a cook after I came to Alton, but I still cook well. Nothing. He's making shrimp in a chili sauce. The shrimp looks so scrumptious. My mouth is watering. <laughs> oh, Isaac. Okay. Let's visit whatever is left of the town. You. You. If we could just destroy the monsters, all the water should drain away. Stop it! Stop it. Want to see the. Move it. Is there secrets in these graves? Stop. Move. Stop it. Stop! Old man, stop talking to me. Finally. We can't drain the water the monsters spew. It's disgusting. Won't anyone ever slay those beasts? Oh, hello, cutie. <laughs> Shake said. Ugh, the monsters spew the monsters spewed out all this water. It smells foul. Why don't you guys kill it? I mean 
There must be someone in this town who can help. What about the blacksmith? Alton always used to run short on water. Now we're all flooded in it. Either way, we just have bad luck when it comes to water. Seems so. Water's nice, but not when it's flooding your home. My store is submerged. I want to sell armor, but there's no way. All my armor inventory is rusting even as we speak. Hello. <laughs> His run. Where did he go? Hello. What are you going to do? Oh. He can use the energy. Now he's gonna use it to jump that bitch. Yeah, cause you can jump up that, but you can't jump up on the other side. You know? <laughs> His. I can do that too, you know? Hiss. Where's he going? It's a dead end. Vomits! <laughs> Gross. Come on, guy. Let me kill you. Hello. Uh, Isaac got the frost jewel. Oh, the water's going down. Isn't the frost jewel like... bestows frost. I already have frost, though. I don't know why it's giving me it again. And I noticed I forgot to give this back. There you go. No. Wrong skill. You. There you go. Some of the water's gone though. That's good. Oh, a lot of the water's gone. Never mind. Hello. The water around here has subsided. I wonder if the holes in the mine allowed the water to drain. Now I just kill the monster. As the monsters go away, the water recedes. Maybe all this will. Maybe all of the monsters will disappear pretty soon. Well, yeah, if I kill them all, they will. If the monster that did this were here right now, I'd give him such a smack. I'm just kidding. I am, I'm opposed to all this violence. <laughs> One blow's not enough. Jab, jab, hook, then comes the uppercut. I yeah, okay. You're a violent woman. <laughs> You're not opposed to all that violence. Holy shit. Dude, don't ever get her mad because you'll freaking yeah, regret it. Oh no, the whole house is soaked. It's going to take a lot of work to get this house back in shape. Yeah. Pretty sure the other people will help you. The item shop is here at least. But I'd rather have the armory. The armor and weapon shop instead of this. I like never use this shop. None of my goods were damaged. I am uh, going to sell like there's no tomorrow. Good for you. A few things got damp, but it shouldn't affect the quality, so you can use them without any worries. Maybe I'll put up a sign to explain it all. Or you can just tell them yourself, since they're going to be purchasing from you, right? Just feel like, oh, by the way, it's a little soaked, but it's no biggie. No? Alright then. So I'm gonna have to end this episode here. Sorry it was very short, but yes, I have got other things to do. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Goodbye!